Greetings, the Hijabi Gamer here. And if you were at my live stream yesterday on Saturday, you will know that I basically lost it when I started playing Festival of the Lost. You know, I hadn't played it all week, and so this was the first time playing it. And some of the things I found really, really pissed me off. And I figured I should make this video. Now, I know this video is going to anger some people because I've noticed people really don't like it when I criticize Destiny 2. But let me make it clear. When I criticize Destiny 2, it's coming from someone who genuinely loves the game and really wants it to get better. Someone who's played Destiny 2 and original Destiny for a long time now. And I have the receipts to prove it. I can prove that I have been playing this game for a while. Um, now keep in mind, I have played Destiny 2 on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And I play original Destiny on PlayStation and Xbox. I haven't been playing Destiny 2 on PlayStation lately because I only bought Season of the Witch Queen on Xbox this time. So Destiny 2... I have 108 days worth, so probably add another 75 days or so worth, maybe 80 days, from PlayStation. Um, then, original Destiny, this you should double, because I've been playing it a lot on PlayStation as well. 100 days. And this is good because um, I didn't start playing original Destiny until late in the second year, so I was missing out on a lot of time, and yet... I have more playtime in Original Destiny than a lot of people who were playing from the beginning. So again, when I criticize Destiny 2, it's not from a hater. It's not from someone who hasn't played the game or who just wants to hate Bungie and Destiny for the sake of hating them. On the contrary, I have the digital deluxe version of the Witch Queen. Hell, I have the collector's edition because I have the little ghost that came with it sitting over there. Now, people have criticized me and said, oh, well, it's your fault for buying it. I bought it because I thought the game would get better. And don't get me wrong, I really like the Witch Queen campaign. However, there are a lot of things that are I have a problem with in the game. I'm just going to be discussing the Festival of the Lost, because they've done some things with this that really, really anger me. Starting with what I discovered when I went to speak with Eva Levante. And that is the Upgrade Event card. This really pissed me off, because... Look, I have no problem if they had made this as a separate purchasable item. You pay a thousand silver and you get these three items. No problem at all. Hell, since I have some leftover still silver, I probably would have bought it myself. Especially because, dear God, look at that sparrow. As someone who loves cats, I need that sparrow. So, if this had been a separate purchasable item from the Eververse store, no problem at all. On the other hand, what really pisses me off is simply the fact that you are earning in-game currency that you cannot use unless you buy this. So if you look here, you have the event challenges. This is the free part, okay? You can earn event tickets. What can you use those event tickets for? Oh, you can use them for the upgraded event card. In order to get the upgraded event card, you have to buy it. And to me, this is really scummy on Bungie's part. Okay, it is a way to pressure players to buy this. I would, again, I've said this, I have no problem with this stuff being separately purchasable. As I said, I probably would have bought it myself because of the sparrow, and I have the silver. It's not like, yeah, I already have the silver. I would have bought it. It's the fact that you can earn in-game currency that is totally useless for you unless you buy the upgraded event card. Now, people who criticized me during my live stream said, oh, well, it's all cosmetics. It doesn't affect your ability to enjoy the game. Yes, it does. Because again, you are earning currency in game that you can't use. Remove the event tickets. I would have no problem. It's the event tickets that make it a big issue. It's a scummy move on Bungie's behalf to pressure you into buying this. Because now every time you get your rewards, you're going to see, oh, look, it says right up here, I have an event ticket. It's going to be right in front of you telling you, hey, hey, just buy this and you'll be able to use those. But if you don't buy it, you're going to miss out on all this stuff. So you know you need to buy it. And what's even more frustrating is, like I said, I have the digital deluxe version of the Witch Queen. I spent $100. I figured this would unlock everything in the game for the next, you know, season for me, for the next year for me, okay? So why did I spend then $100 if you're going to lock me out of stuff? You know, 
they're telling me that this happened in the Guardian games. Now, I did play Guardian games, but I didn't play as much as I normally do. Um, honestly, I got really frustrated with the Guardian games because, first of all, they kept adding more for more forms of currency to it. But the other issue is they they, they made it less fun. You know, the, the, they you used to be able to ha you to climb up the buildings. You had to figure out how to do it. Then they added the boost. It's like you're dumbing down the game. And it's like, I, I don't. Why? We had no problem with that before. So the Guardian games felt much more you know, creative and challenging before than they do now. So didn't really feel incentivized to play the Guardian games. I can't remember what other games I was playing, but I was playing other video games at the time because I got so frustrated by it. So I did not know about this. Somehow I missed it. But I'm, especially with the event tickets, this really pisses me off. It feels like something that a mobile game would do. You know, I'm told I personally have not played Pokemon Go. I think I played it 15 minutes in the airport in Switzerland and got bored, but I'm told I think like you can earn eggs in game, but you have to buy incubators. It's like earning chests in game, but you have to buy keys. And they're gonna highlight it right here. So every one of those event tickets you have is gonna be sitting there staring at you saying, see, if you want this, if you wanna use this, you need to pay for this. I really, really don't like it. Um, and yeah, I know it's all cosmetics, but as I said, make it completely separate. Make it a separate buyable package. You can be, hell, you can even advertise it with Eva Levante. Be like, hey, here's the Festival of the Lost cosmetic bundle for a thousand silver. Fine, fine. But the fact that you earn in game currency you can't use unless you buy this event card really angers me. In addition, I feel like the Festival of the Lost was a letdown overall. Look, the haunted infinite forest. Yes, it was a reskin, but there was still some degree of creativity involved in it. Turning out the lights, adding the unkillable night, trying to, you know, do more and more levels into it. There was a challenge to that. The dark was really, really cool and it felt Halloween themed. It felt Festival of the Lost. This is Lost Sectors with extra bosses. That's about it. And it's it's using the same gimmick that Bungie does every time. So you have to kill the, the not frightening at all uh, pumpkin heads. I mean, at least make sure all of the lost sectors have no lights on, like, or dim lights. So at least it's a little spooky. And then after that, you get a boss, which is not even a new and exciting boss. It's just, I mean, when we did it in on Europa, it was a some Vex. And it's the same gimmick Bungie does where you do a third of the damage, then you have to throw something at the suddenly invincible shield, so then you do another third of the damage, so you get the shield back up again, so you have to throw those pumpkins at the shield, and you do final one third of the damage. You know what, at the very least, make the enemies in there different. Instead, we were fighting Vex. No, no creativity. Nothing new. It's the same thing as last year. Lost Sectors. You know, you'd think they have a whole year to prepare for the Festival of the Lost. They would try and think of something new. Hell, the Leviathan. Make the Leviathan, turn off all the lights in the Leviathan, make it dimly lit, throw in some new enemy types, you know, haunted, undead, raised, whatever. Come up with some ridiculous lore reason why there are semi, you know, undead um, Vex or whatever cabal with their armor hanging off, make it look scary and festival of the lost or I don't know, the risen corpses of guardians are hunting you in the, the Leviathan. That would have been something new. Um, and I'm not even like really trying, you know, in this last, you know, hour I've been making this video, but instead it's, we went into a f lost sector on Europa with bright lights, Vex, and pumpkin-headed enemies that you... And it was just like, it did not feel Festival of the Lost at all. And yeah, I know there's some darker Lost sectors, but you know what? Put some creativity, some show you care. Um, After I played Destiny 2, 
and went on the live stream uh, screaming into the void. I played Guild Wars 2 with Mugsykins and Shadow of Hawk. And honestly, I had far more fun playing Guild Wars 2 with the two of them. Mugsykins is, she will die really, really nice. And she must have, you know, dragging us two newbies along, giving us advice and suggestions on how to play Guild Wars 2. And I could see the love and creativity that the developers put into Guild Wars 2 into their Halloween event. They really put an effort into it, and it was all free. But you can see that they put a lot more creativity into it than this. And I'm so disappointed and so frustrated because, again, I am someone who really loves Destiny 2, and I bought the digital deluxe version of The Witch Queen, and I really wanted the game to get better. So to see this... And you know that the holiday event is probably going to be the exact same thing. And it's a dumbed down, hollow out version of what it used to be. Remember when we used to throw snowballs, when you had those little snowballs all over and you could throw snowballs at each other? That was fun. That was an added creativity to it. But instead, they're probably going to give us the bare minimum. You're going to be running around collecting ingredients to make cookies. And then you're going to get a whole ton of blues and... I mean, you want to know the best way? Someone who was criticizing me also pointed out that most people who are doing this are only doing it for the god roll weapon that you get at the beginning. <sighs> I mean, the fact that you literally, he's like, even this person who was criticizing me also agreed. He's like, apparently this is a god roll sniper rifle. And he's like, most of the people who are doing this are only doing it far enough to pick up the sniper rifle, and that's it. I was like, wait, what? <sighs> Even the cosmetics are getting a little, uh, maybe it's just me, but I'm getting tired of having 500 different ships that, you know, eventually you're gonna move on to the next ship. Honestly, I haven't changed my ship at this point because it's like every time you get the next new ship, the next sparrow, the next emblem, the next emote, until you have, like, I don't even have a lot of emotes, but it's still, like, I haven't even actively collected emotes, but it's reached the point where you just put the same emotes and, you know, you rotate them out, but it's like, it feels so hollow. And what are the rewards from this? So, I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. I was really, really disappointed by what I saw. It's just really disappointed. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. And um, I plan on making a video about my overall thoughts about Destiny 2. I'm really, really frustrated. And uh, I do hope to see you in the tower.